Alright, Princess, why don't you sit crisscross up with us just like this, facing the whale? Welcome aboard, everyone. My name is Carrie. I'll be your storyteller today, and we are riding aboard the Red Sea. But my favorite story is Peter Pan. Now, in order to get the story of the player, we must pass through the jaws of Monstro, the giant whale that swallowed Pinocchio. So keep your hands and arms inside the boat and well away from his lovely white teeth. If you'll recall the story of Pinocchio, when he was swallowed by Monstro, he lit a fire in his belly that made Monstro sneeze so hard that it blew his tail right off, giving us our own special entrance into Storybook Land. On our left is the cave of the big bad wolf, and across the way are the houses of the three little pigs. There's Piper's house of straw, Fiddler's house of sticks, and of course, Practical Pig's house of wolf-proof bricks. Under the bridge and to the left is a little British village, where Alice began her adventures in Wonderland. She lives in that magic house in the corner, and if you look closely, you can see where she followed the white rabbit to help the rabbit hole. Yeah, On our right, in the center of the canal, is London Park, where Wendy, John, and Michael flew with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell on their way to Neverland. What are you doing? It's not recording. It's not recording. Oh, it has to Never mind. The right ahead is Agrabah. City of mystery and enchantment. At the top of the hill is the Sultan Palace, and down below is the marketplace no, where Aladdin that. and Princess Jasmine fell in love. Yeah, yeah. These rose covered arches is where Aladdin took Princess Jasmine on their magic carpet ride into a whole new world. Alright everyone, please keep your hands and arms inside the boat because we are about to enter the Cave of Wonders, where it lies a lot of land. of the seven floors, where you can hear Snow White with the watching work. And beyond that is where the dwarves is digging in their minds the whole day through. On our left is the stately chateau where Cinderella once lived with her wicked stepmother. But now, she lives with her dear Prince Charming in that castle at the top of the hill. And if you look about halfway up, you can see where Cinderella's coach turned back into a pumpkin. On our left is a giant patchwork cloak, comprised completely of desert flowers. This cloak was inspired by the silly symphony, Lullaby Land. And in case you're wondering, all of the trees and plants here in Storybook Land are 100% real. They are kept small by a process of miniaturization known only to Tinkerbell and a select few Disneyland gardeners. This keeps them from growing no more than one inch per year. Some of these trees are the oldest in Fantasyland, reaching ages of up to 150 years old. Some were even planted by Walt Disney himself. Yeah, taking a bath over there. The right ahead is Toad Hall, home to Jane Fanny's Toad from Wind to the Willows. Just to the left of Toad Hall is Bull Ann. The modest little home of Toad's best friend, Mr. Bowl. 
that I don't believe he's home right now. He's probably off on a wild ride, merely on his way to nowhere in particular. On our left are three Dutch windmills. The one in the center is most famous for sheltering local animals during a terrible thunderstorm in the Academy Award-winning Silly Symphony, The Old Mill. Beneath the Matterhorn is the Alpine Village Hall of Pinocchio. It was in that wood plaza shop where Geppetto wished upon a star and brought his little wooden puppet to life. And for the bay to our right is Prince Eric's ship. It was on that stretch of beach where Ariel took her first step on land and became part of our world. Now, she lives with her husband Eric and daughter Melody in this beautiful castle by the sea. But if Ariel was a little mermaid, she lived under the sea. So if you look to your left beyond that waterfall, you might have a glimpse of Ariel's underwater home of Atlantica, ruled by her father, Prince Raymond. And now it is time for us to return to shore. So please keep your hands and arms inside the boat and watch your fingers and elbows as you approach the dock. I hope you all enjoyed our tour of Story of the Plan and will have a wonderful day here at Disneyland.